So imagine you're sharing your favorite video game with a friend. You're doing your best to impress them with all the cool parts of the game, and you're both having fun. Until... Whoa! What is that? What is going on? Are those her boobs? Why are they moving? Oh my god, the jiggle physics! Game devs, why would you do this? And now he's spending the rest of the afternoon laughing at the jiggle physics instead of playing the game. Now, I'd never claim to be more mature than anyone, but I can at least claim not to start flipping tables over seeing a boob bounce or two. There is a nigh-universal overreaction from players who see pectoral fat deposits in motion, as though being seen in the same room as a bouncing boob is somehow challenging your validity as an adult. Nowadays, even the term jiggle physics is associated with immaturity and stupidity. But before I begin, I think I need to help clarify what jiggle physics are in the first place, because I often hear the term misused. Pop quiz! Which one of these count as jiggle physics? The answer is none of them, because they are all hand-drawn. Allow me to explain from the beginning. Jiggle physics are a type of physics engine, a graphic software that simulates objects in real time, interacting dynamically with physical components in-game to emulate the effects of gravity, velocity, you know, physics. You'll see this most often used for debris and for ragdoll bodies, but if you adhere a physics-based object to another object, then you can achieve dynamic movement that's attached to a non-dynamic asset for things like hair and clothing, and yes, boobs. When you see boobs moving on a 2D asset, those aren't physics. Those are drawn animation frames. Each line or pixel is pre-planned to move a certain way during a certain action, but never to interact dynamically with physics in the environment because, well, it's impossible. They're drawings. Hand-drawn breasts are guaranteed to move the exact same way each time, the way the artist intended. Compare this to jiggle physics in a 3D game, which are designed to respond dynamically to any motion regardless of whether or not that animation was meant to have any jiggle at all. So using the term jiggle physics to define pre-rendered boob movement is kind of a misnomer. Now that the semantics confusion is over, let's ask a different question. Why do we start collectively losing our minds whenever we see jiggle physics? Well, as in all things in the history of video game graphics, jiggle physics did not have a very strong start. Animators were often limited by hardware to only animate what was necessary to make the game work, so any game that pushed the extra effort just for bouncing boobs was prioritizing their limited design space for sex appeal. Physics engines back then weren't as tight and couldn't quite convey that sense of weight and gravity, so we eventually ended up with these. With graphics constantly getting stronger, but physics engines not quite caught up, jiggle physics began to look more and more like a joke. People began getting so used to seeing bad jiggle physics that any jiggle physics at all was perceived as a cheap attention grab. Look, I'm not defending bad jiggle physics. They do not look great. But there's no reason to condemn jiggle physics as a bad practice and that it should be removed altogether. Let's consider the opposite. Have you ever seen boobs in a video game that should bounce, but don't? This is even more jarring. They look like they're made of stone! A good jiggle physics engine works when it's subtle, but present. If we're going to push for the kind of game animation that lets us animate hair and cloth on a character with great fidelity, then it should also stand to reason that boobs should also move in response to a strong outside force, since, you know, boobs actually do that. Games nowadays have tighter physics engines that allow for subtler, gentler boob movement that better captures the feeling of weight and gravity. Games still have a long way to go before we reach the pinnacle of simulated breast movement, but I think we've made great strides in the right direction. Remember that a bouncing boob is not a sin in of itself, and that not all jiggle physics should be held accountable for the sins of the past. A moving boob is not trying to challenge our adulthood, and we're not winning any maturity contest by trying to scoff and say that boobs are beneath us. Really, just loosen up, guys. That wraps up today's abatorial. And as of now, I have done a full editorial on both butts and boobs. Life and hometown secured. Big shoutouts to our patrons. I'll continue talking about ridiculous topics like this for as long as you guys are willing to listen to me. Don't forget to subscribe and to share this video with your friends, and also consider leaving a tip with us on Patreon. I'm ABI, and I got a bounce.